Hello there, folks. With me is Assistant Seth Call, my science assistant for the day. He's one of my Paul Science Boys team here to demonstrate some traditional scientific principles in physics. Today, what we have here is, what is this called, Seth? A ballistic pendulum. A ballistic pendulum, yes. This is a standard model you'll find in textbooks and in standard physics labs. Um, and what we do is um, we look at how momentum, linear momentum, is conserved, and we use a little trick in mechanical energy conservation to figure out how fast our projectile is traveling. The projectile being this tiny mass ball. So we measure this mass, and we measure the mass of this pivot arm right here. As you see, here's our pivot arm, and there's a center of mass mo module module right here. And so by knowing this mass, knowing the mass of our projectile, and measuring the height for which it rises up when it captures the ball upon firing from the spring-loaded launcher, we can figure out the speed of the projectile. Can you do us a, a demonstration without actually firing what happens there, Seth? Yeah. Okay, let's put the ball on the end of the launcher which mass we know, it gets fired, it, it gets captured, so it's an inelastic collision into the pivot arm. The pivot arm swings up, for which you could find the height. So you could do some trig, and by knowing the, the angle here, you could figure out, you could use some uh, trigonometry to figure out the height, or you could measure the height from the rest position to the center mass. So here the center mass is at, let's, can you release the lever for a second? Here the center mass is at rest, and then it gets captured up to a certain height. So uh, by measuring that height distance, we could get the potential energy. So would you go ahead and demonstrate one run for us, Dr. Seth? There we go, and that's what happens, it gets captured. And what we do now is we do our conservation of linear momentum equations. And at the point of capture, we go ahead and look at the kinetic energy values and equate it with the potential energy values. And we use that to find the velocity of the projectile. And Seth Call really enjoys this device. In the traditional days, this would be a wooden block and this would be a pellet or a bullet and the bullet would fire into the into the block of wood and the block of wood would rise a certain height all right thank you seth call thank you for your contribution to some physics understanding today